Hello everyone, this is Proco Computer Repairs, and in this video I'm going to be talking about Wallpaper Engine. It's an application that you can get from Steam, and what it does is it applies really cool backgrounds to your desktop to keep it very simple for you guys. And unfortunately, it's not free. It's going to cost you $3.99 to buy the application, but considering the uh, amount of app or backgrounds that you have access to after purchasing this application, I would say it's worth buying. Um, it has backgrounds associated with movies, games, um, anime, and it's just really cool. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys um, the application. I have it running right now on my uh, current desktop. And uh, if you guys are interested, let's uh, take a look at it. In order to find the app, you want to head to Steam. That could be either via the Steam app if you already have it downloaded on your computer. If not, you can head to Google and then type in Steam and you can use the Steam powered store. Um, I have the app already downloaded, so I'm just going to use that in this demonstration. But once you have it open, you'd go to the store and then search wallpaper engine is the name of the app. So again, it's going to cost you guys $3.99. Unfortunately, it's not a free app. However, considering the one time payment that you would have to make of, you know, four bucks, you do have access to hundreds of backgrounds uh, to choose from. And uh, right off the bat, you can see that overwhelmingly a majority of the reviews for this app are positive. Uh, a lot of people highly recommend this. Uh, and to jump into it, let's uh, go to library. Um, once you download it uh, or buy it and download it, you would open it up. It would show here under your library. I have it running in the background. So this would be how you would access it once you have it open. Um, you would right click it, go to change wallpaper. And these would be all of the wallpapers that I currently have on my system that I installed. And in order to get ones, because when you first buy it, you're probably just going to have a few installed, like ones that come pre-installed. But uh, in order to get new ones, you would go to the Discover tab at the top. And this would be where you would download them. Um, if you wanted to search, you know, specific backgrounds that you may be looking for, you can do so here. For an example, for me, my favorite game to play is Warframe. So um, I've done a search here to, to see if any backgrounds were associated with this game. And here's what shows up. Um, I would go to top rated and um, Let's just try this one out. So um, if you wanted to, for an example, get any one of these backgrounds applied, you would click on it and then you would head to subscribe. And once you hit subscribe, you would just minimize this and you can see that it applies the background to your desktop. So this is what it looks like. Um, and if you have a multiple monitor setup, you can apply it across the monitors that you have. Uh, so just to give you guys um, or just to showcase that really quick for you guys, let's, uh, let's jump into that. Um, so yeah, in order to change the um, the displays that it you know it, it displays on, you would go to the display tab here at the upper right corner, click on that, and then um, you would click here, and this would give you the options that you would have. So if you wanted to clone a single wallpaper, you can you can clone it across all the monitors that you currently have, or if you wanted to say stretch one one uh, background across all the monitors that you have you'd go to stretch single wallpaper and that would stretch it across all of the monitors on your current desktop. And then if you just wanted to apply it to one monitor, you can do uh, wallpaper per display. And then this allows you to have different wallpapers on each display. So um, the next tab would be workshop. And this is uh, where you can actually, if you wanted to, you can make your own uh, wallpaper in this app as well. Um, me, I personally don't, but you would have the ability uh, to do so if you were interested in that. Um, so once you subscribe to a wallpaper, uh, in order to see all of the ones that you currently have installed, you would just go to the install tab, click on that. And these would be all of the ones that I currently have um, and to choose from. So the one that I had at the start of the video was Chroma Drencher and uh, you guys can see this is uh, it applied to the desktop. 
So um, you can do a you know a couple of things. You can you know if you wanted to modify it a little bit, it does allow for a little bit of uh, modifications of the background that you might have. So you can change the speed, for example, of this one. And let's see what that looks like. Is it okay? Uh, yeah, if you wanted to, you could change uh, little things like that. Let's go back. And uh, you can change the direction. This one in particular, I'm not sure if this applies to all of them, but uh, for example, just in this instance for this particular background, you can change the direction, uh, the coverage, the length, width, color, scheme that it has. Um, so it's pretty customizable and you would hit OK once you are satisfied with your changes. Another thing is this program actually works with IQ and Razor Chroma. So for those of you who have devices that are compatible with either one of those softwares, you can use this software with that as well. I won't be showcasing this in this video because I simply don't have any devices that would work with that. But for those of you who do, uh, that's something to definitely check out. Also, if you wanted to edit the wallpaper, uh, like your own wallpaper, you can go down to wallpaper editor, click on that, and that would bring up the window where you would create your own. They have templates that you could choose from, 2D, 3D scenes, dome flags, animated GIFs. Um, I won't be showing this as well because I just don't use this as one of the features. Um, I just typically use this for finding cool backgrounds and then applying it to uh, my desktop. So. Um, I don't want to make this a review. Uh, these are just my thoughts on this program. Again, I've been using this for about two years now, and um, I just find it to be a very, uh, very cool program. So that's pretty much it. All right, everyone, that's my thoughts on Wallpaper Engine. I found it to be a really dope program, especially if you have a multi-monitor setup. Um, if you guys thought this video was helpful, please leave a like below. That really does help the video get noticed. So I would really appreciate that if you guys could. Um, if you want to see any future videos from me, um, I am trying to upload more often. So if you guys are interested in any you know, future videos I may be uh, putting together, please feel free to hit that subscribe button. And um, thank you guys for viewing the video. I really appreciate it. Bye.